morning. This is Dr. Liz Cox with California Department of Food and Agriculture's Animal Care Program. Animal Care Program is in charge of implementing Proposition 12. And this video is for distributors to show distributors where they can navigate and find information on the Animal Care Program website. So first you can see here, um, I'm at the Animal Care Program homepage. Just Google CDFA Animal Care or CDFA Prop 12 and it'll come up. So here on the homepage, up here at the top, you can subscribe to receive Prop 12 email updates if you haven't done that already. And then we have some general information about Prop 12 and the um, Animal Care Program. Also here on the homepage are links to our social media, uh, our contact information, including our email address, and then um, links to the regulations, the statute, um, forms and applications. And I'm gonna start there. So for distributors, they are required to have registered with CDFA by January 1st of 2023. If you are not registered yet, we're continuing to accept applications for registration. So I clicked on the forms and applications, and then here is the distributor registration application. And we have another video explaining how to complete that application. Um, also, as a distributor, after January 1st of 2024, an application for a new distributor registration, or when you renew your distributor registration in 2024, you will need to have a copy of a third party certification um, submitted to CDFA along with the application for renewal. And so here on the right hand side, you can see the link here to certifying agents. So if you click on that, this brings you to our certifying agent page. These are the private companies that are accredited to certify operations and then also CDFA. Uh, if you want more information on one of these companies, you need to click on it and then it will describe um, what they are accredited to certify and their contact information. And once you are ready to um, become third party certified, we recommend that you come back and, and visit this page because we are continuing to update it with additional accredited certifying agents. Okay, and then over here, the next link I want to point out is the guidance document link, which is on the right hand side. So click on that. And then this brings you to our stakeholder resources page where we have links to guidance. And then also down at the bottom, we have our um, videos for stakeholders like yourself. So first we'll go to the all stakeholders tab here. This is where you'll find a link to guidance for past and upcoming dates relevant to Prop 12 and the animal confinement regulations. Here is the frequently asked question that was put out in July of 2023, key terms for stakeholders. This is good as brings over many of the definitions from our regulations into this more user-friendly guidance document. So for example, what is the definition of distributor under animal confinement regulations? That's where you'll find this. And then our regulatory frameworks. We have it divided out for the different covered products. Um, but distributors are a part of all of these different regulatory frameworks. And then a sale under animal confinement. So if you're um, curious in regards to a specific transaction uh, that's occurring here within California and wanting to know if that specific transaction does fall under the definition of sale under Prop 12 in the animal confinement regulations, there's a guidance document for that. And then you can see here the distributors tab. So opening that up, this is guidance um, for the distributor for the on-site inspection. So when you are ready to become third-party certified and preparing for the on-site inspection, 
that's performed by a certifying agent. This guidance goes through the requirements and expectations of what will happen during the on-site inspection. Here's the guidance for distributor registration. And then these two, egg and then pork and veal, these are guidance documents to understand the covered products under Prop 12 and the animal confinement regulations. So there are different flow charts to help you know if the specific cut or product that you're selling um, does fall under Prop 12. And then here is the shipping document guidance for um, putting the correct statement on documents of title and shipping manifests that accompany covered product that is moving into and within California. Then you can see we have other guidance documents there. And then I just wanted to bring your attention again down here to our videos. We have a short tutorial on distributor registration, another short tutorial on the proper shipping document markings. Uh, we have a distributors webinar uh, that we also did this past June. And again here, just going back to our homepage, if you do have any questions, this is our contact information. The best way is to send us um, an email to the general animal care inbox. All right, thank you.